So let's begin by looking at the cover of an adult application. You'll see three main parts of this cover sheet. Mission of the Boy Scouts of America, authorizing a criminal background check, and youth protection training information. The mission of the Boy Scouts of America informs the adult volunteer applicant of the BSA's main objective. Key words you'll notice include prepare young people, make ethical and moral choices over their lifetimes, instilling values, and the Scout Oath and Scout Law. The volunteer applicant authorizes a criminal background check to be made from public record sources. This helps better select the right volunteer leadership and ensures the safety of scouting youth members. Completing youth protection training within 30 days of registering helps a volunteer know and understand the BSA Youth Protection Guidelines. This helps to again ensure the safety of scouting youth members. Let's now look at the actual adult application that will be completed by an individual applying for registration with the Boy Scouts of America. Can you identify some of the key parts? Do you see the unit scouters section at the top? If registering within a unit, the volunteer needs to identify the type of unit, pack for Cub Scouting, troop for Boy Scouting, team for Varsity Scouting, crew for Venturing, and ship for Sea Scouting. And also they need to identify the unit number. Do you see the Council District position and the District Name section? If registering within a Council or District, the volunteer needs to identify the position and if registering at the district level, also they need to identify the district name. Do you see where the individual indicates his or her name and contact information? All registered adult volunteers receive Scouting Magazine five issues a year as part of their annual registration fee. Communications from the council and district can also be delivered with accurate contact information. Do you see the date of birth? Having the date of birth for the applicant helps to correctly identify the adult for the criminal background check. This information also helps the BSA know if the applicant meets the age requirements for the adult volunteer position. Do you see the social security number? This info is used to correctly identify the applicant. Notice that the social security number only appears on the local council copy. It does not appear on the copies for the chartered organization, the unit, and the applicant. And for those adults who do not have a social security number or who have been a victim of identity theft, a social security number exemption form from the Boy Scouts can be used. Now locate the references, question five. References are checked to help the chartered organization or the district and council select qualified leaders to serve as volunteers. This telephone reference checklist can be used and completed to check references provided by the applicant. Be sure to introduce yourself and explain the purpose of your call. Follow the steps as listed in the checklist. Ask especially if the reference would feel comfortable having his or her own child supervised by the prospect. And always thank your reference for their help. Afterwards, be sure to make notes of your conversation with the reference. In addition to references, locate question 6, additional information. All these questions must be answered. This helps with evaluating the volunteer applicant for membership in the Boy Scouts of America. The applicant must sign and date the adult application. An unsigned application cannot be accepted. The applicant must also review the disclosure authorization form and complete name, signature, date, and unit number to acknowledge review of this form. The disclosure authorization form and the BSA adult application must both be signed and turned in together in the application process. Unit scatters must be approved with signature by the unit committee chairman, the chartered organization head or the chartered organization representative, and the scout executive or designee 
which is often the district executive. Council and district scouters must be approved with signature by the scout executive or designee. Often it's the district executive who approves district scouters. Here are a few more things to consider as you review adults for membership in the Boy Scouts of America. You have to know their age, so you have to have the date of birth completed on the adult application. All leaders must be 21 years of age or older, with the exception of the following who can be 18 or older. Assistant den leaders, assistant weevils leaders, assistant cub masters, assistant scout masters, and assistant varsity coaches. As a reference, age requirements are listed on the inside portion of the adult application. The age requirements are listed in the qualification section. In this same section, we are reminded that no one may register in more than one position in the same unit. The most common exception to that rule would be the chartered organization representative who can multiple as a committee chair or as a committee member. Check that section for the remainder of the exceptions. A two-letter unit position code should be used when completing an adult application. See the codes and descriptions here for unit positions. Here is the district and council scouter position code and description list that must be used to identify their position. Registered members in scouting promise to do their duty to God. A scout is reverent. The Boy Scouts of America maintains that no member can grow into the best kind of citizen without recognizing an obligation to God. The BSA recognizes the religious element in the training of the member, but is absolutely non-sectarian in its attitude toward that religious training. A volunteer signing an adult application agrees to follow the BSA youth protection policies and makes a commitment to complete youth protection training within 30 days of registering or sooner if required by the local council. Volunteers should be aware of the purpose of the Boy Scouts of America. The history of this purpose statement goes back to 1916 when the BSA was chartered by the U.S. Congress. Along with the purpose, the mission of the Boy Scouts of America describes the BSA objective of preparing young people to make ethical and moral choices. On the back side of the applicant copy of the adult application is training for new volunteers. This vital information helps the newly registered volunteer know where to go for training opportunities. The My Scouting website is the location for online volunteer training, including youth protection guideline training. So the adult application is more than just an application. It is a vital source of information to help volunteers succeed. It is the gateway that helps with the selection and registration of high-quality adult leaders.